Be vegan. Make peace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada y schedule. Ta programa damas prosferante se polas glosses. Para calume dite suprememastertv.com capto schedule. What can be done if an animal is found in the water? For small animals such as mice, birds and frogs, you can help them by gently scooping them out of the pool with a pool skimmer. Please continue watching to find out more. Welcome marvelous viewers, I'm Elia and I belong to the majestic animal species known as the Greater Kudu. Just as we enjoy eating delicious, juicy and vibrant fruits of all colors in energetic South Africa, we wish that you too enjoy eating the abundance of varieties of sweet, delicious fruit in your corner of the world. Welcome to, in celebration of Be Kind to Animals Week, How to Be a Gracious Host for the Animals, Part 2 of 3. Be Kind to Animals Week has been observed in the first full week of May every year since 1973. Although it started in the US, this is a celebration of compassion that all of humanity can participate in. In today's show, we'll explore things that can be done to make backyard pools safer for the wildlife that may come to visit and also for the animals already living there. We Greater Kudu know what it's like to be thirsty because we really look forward to drinking water in the dry season. Through the grapevine, we've learned that different animals might come into yards looking for some water to drink or even to splash and play about in. So here are some tips to help them if they visit your swimming pool. To help prevent animals from falling into the pool in the first place, it's a great idea to keep any surrounding trees neatly trimmed back so that they don't hang over the water itself. The reason for this is that animals who play, jump and scamper around the tree branches may fall off them by accident. Having trees well away from the pool will help keep animals such as squirrels, raccoons, birds and opossums from falling into the water. Plus, it will also help to keep the pool cleaner without tree leaves falling in. It's also a good idea to have a fence around a pool so that only human and furry family members can have supervised time in the water. Unfortunately, family members have also had to be rescued from backyard pools. We animals are very active during the day, especially when we live out in Mother Nature. We may travel long distances. Thus, we're always on the lookout for food. So, it's best to keep the area around the swimming pool nice and clean, without any leftover food and definitely no food wrappers to tempt us. Animals such as deer, raccoons, dogs, cats, skunks, chipmunks and mice may fall into the water while they are preoccupied with food morsels and smells that are surrounding the pool. If any garbage bins are left beside the pool, it's also best that they have a snap lock cover that can't be easily opened if they tip over. I also invite you to leave drinking water out for animal visitors. You might wonder how this could help, but think about it. We animals need fresh, clean water to drink, just like you. By putting clean water into shallow dishes, bird baths, or dog or cat water bowls, animals then have a safe and shallow water source rather than trying to drink from the pool itself. It's also not ideal for us to be drinking strongly chlorinated pool water, so giving us another means to quench our thirst is very welcome and appreciated. If you live in a hot climate where overheated animals might come looking for water to drink, then covering the pool and providing alternative water stations kindly provides a safe source of drinking water for the sun-kissed animals. If animals do fall into the water, there are some nifty things that can help to save their lives. When I learned about these devices, I was so excited for my animal kin all over the world because these do indeed save lives. I thank the kind humans who invented these mechanisms to prevent poor animals from drowning. One product is called Critter Clear and another one is called Froglog. 
These devices sit at the edge of the pool and provide a mesh climber that animals can use to escape from the water. A number of frog log or critter clear units can be positioned around the pool for maximum wildlife safety. Frogs, toads, mice, opossums, bats, birds and other animals might be very grateful for this. Spectacular viewers, I am going to sip on some cool water that I have access to thanks to the irrigation system that local humans have created. We will return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Be vegan. Make peace. Welcome back to our show in celebration of Be Kind to Animals Week, How to Be a Gracious Host for the Animals, part two of three on Supreme Master Television. If there is anything that I've learned about humans, it's that they can be very creative and resourceful. When coupled with their kindness, we animals are really touched by what humans create to help us. Now here are some more ideas on keeping your animal friends safe around swimming pools. It's a great idea to leave some floating items on the water surface so that animals can clamber onto them when in need. This way, they can conserve their energy until a helpful human comes and helps them out of the water. Floating items such as pool noodles, a pool hose, or a couple of clean plastic bottles partially filled with water could be purposefully left in the water. Try not to make the item too high off the water surface so that the animals can easily grab onto them, even when they are tired from trying to stay afloat. Using something with some sort of texture also helps the animal to grip onto it better. Okay, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get you. Okay, come here. Come here. Oh. No. So far, we've looked at making swimming pools safer for animals. But did you know that pools can be built and converted into veritable backyard havens for wildlife? You may be interested to know that there are ways to build pools and convert existing swimming pools into natural swimming pools that don't use chemicals such as chlorine. These can be made on a small scale to create wildlife ponds that can provide a shallower water source for wild animals. To look at, natural pools or recreation ponds are reminiscent of naturally occurring bodies of water. The way that the water is cleaned involves creating biozones where reeds and aquatic plants are strategically placed. These help to clean the water. The larger zone is usually free of plants for the purpose of swimming. Some natural pools use a biofilter to clean the water. This water is safer for animals who may find their way to the pool, such as salamanders and frogs that have semi-porous skin. For them, being in chlorinated water for lengthy periods of time is quite harmful. It's also safer for animals that do happen to drink the water. And for other small animals who fall in, the plant zones may provide them with enough grip to climb out on their own. Humans have happily reported that wildlife have found their way to these chemical-free pools to drink, bathe and bask. This includes birds, koalas, dragonflies and ducks. And to make them safer still, having purposeful exits for the animals would be great. Another feature of some natural pools is that they have a gentle incline out of the water with a pebbly bottom that may also help animals to leave the water more easily. An extra ramp here could also be helpful. So. You might be wondering, what can be done if an animal is found in the water? For small animals, such as mice, birds and frogs, you can help them by gently scooping them out of the pool with a pool skimmer. If a pool skimmer isn't available, then something else may be used, such as a mop or a broom. As we've learned so far, you might unexpectedly find a larger animal in the water. If this happens, look around to see what is available to help them out, and keep in mind that the animal is probably in distress 
so be a little cautious to avoid possibly being bitten or otherwise getting hurt. Items that might be used to help larger animals out of the water can include partially deflated float toys and beds. A pool chair might allow an animal to climb on board and then exit the pool. If the animal isn't recovering, then please phone your local wildlife group or you can take the animal to a vet if practical. Kind-hearted viewers, we are honored to have had you with us for our program. Please join us again on Saturday, May 8th for part 3 of In Celebration of Be Kind to Animals Week, How to Be a Gracious Host for the Animals. Up next is The Story of Master Confucius and Xiang Tuo, part 13 of 13, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May you enjoy the beauty, joy and blessings of all the wildlife that come to visit and wish you well. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw. Be vegan, repentant, save your soul.